beauty is guru so this video is the long awaited crystal what do i use on my skin do i use cleanser can i use soaps can i what can i use so today i'm just going to talk about one of the products that i have really good success with um, it is a soap it is the only soap that i actually recommend and it is the um, African black soap. It's 100% natural. Um, I like this soap because it is great for people who have skin conditions. Acne, blemishes, dandruff, ringworm, eczema. Did I say rashes? So it's really good for anyone that has any type of skin disorder or something going on with their skin. I like it because it is great for people who have dry skin and people who have oily skin. So it just kind of helps to balance out the skin. You always hear me talk about moisture, hydration, and the skin being balanced. This helps not to strip the, strip the skin and it helps to moisturize the skin. So, this is what it looks like when it comes to you. It's called African Black Soap. And I know that label is kind of hard to read. It may be a little difficult to read. And when you open the, the box, your soap will be wrapped in a clear wrap. And it looks like this. So you open your soap and you can see all of the ingredients in the soap so again this soap is good for your skin it's good for your hair people who have natural hair or people who suffer with dandruff or maybe even psoriasis and things like that this soap is really good so it, it has palm leaves in it it has coca purified water, banana, and pawpaw. So all of those are natural ingredients that are all really good for the skin. So this is how I use it. I'm gonna just do a quick demonstration on how I use my black soap. I use my black soap with my facial brush, my cleansing brush. put this together so the cleansing brush comes in two pieces it comes with the handle portion here which is the mechanical portion and then it has the brush and I'm dripping water so I have to be very careful so my brush is here and I just take it's battery operated you can see that the brush top spins my brush is wet And I just take and get a good amount of the black soap onto the brush. And you can see there that my bristles have turned dark. And this soap a little bit goes a very, very long way. So I normally wet my face and then just take my brush and rotate it in small circular motions all around my face. Not so much around the delicate part of the eye area. but I definitely take my time and let those bristles rotate all over my skin. As I use really short circular motions. Again, being very careful not to go too close to the eye area. Just make sure that I work this all around my face. Now, one of the other things that I really liked about this soap is it almost, um, I normally don't need a facial mask 
with when I use black soap because my black soap the properties the ingredients are healing so I it exfoliates very well especially combined with the brush and I just find myself not needing to use a mask unless I have a severe severe breakout from something like when I have my face threaded or something like that but for the most part my black soap does the trick I use this as my part one of my cleaning regimen then I'll use a clean a toner and a moisturizer so as you can see this soap continues to lather it gives a really good lather and when I say I don't need a mask, I use this as my mask. So after I finish rotating this all around my face, I can normally go on and uh, maybe take a shower while this is still on my face. And then at the end of my shower, I can rinse it off. my hands here because I have black soap all over my hands. Now again, you want to be very careful not to get the soap around the delicate portions of your eyes because the soap is so, the ingredients are so strong that it can have a tendency to burn those areas because again it's exfoliating. It has all of these different uh, kernels. The texture of the soap can be, it can feel a little abrasive, but that doesn't mean that it is cutting your skin or anything like that. But the kernels and things like that have texture in them, so it can feel a little abrasive. So you want to be very careful around the delicate portions of your face, which include around your eyes. Some people tend to be really delicate right in here and just right at the top of your cheeks. Now what I find and what I suggest is if you're if you're new to using the black soap, you definitely want to not use it in its purest form right away. Your first three weeks or so, you may want to cut it. And when I say cut it, you may want to use um, one part soap to three parts water so be very light in the soap and use more water with it. You see how much it lathers just by, um, just naturally, it just lathers a lot. So just one part soap and three parts water until your skin really gets used to it. And if you find that your skin is, is being irritated by the soap, I would back off a little bit. Use the soap maybe twice a week and make sure you're cutting it with the water and once your skin gets used to it you can gradually increase until you can use it daily if you need to. I love it because like I said I have super oily skin which leads to breakouts for me a lot and I break out number one due to my diet because my diet normally is um, is a detoxifying type of diet and then I take medication you guys know I take a lot of medication for my heart so my body is always kind of detoxing that medication out so the black soap really helps to keep the um, to keep the breakouts at bay but I still do end up with the scarring and the black soap helps with the scarring too especially if you're able to use it daily but again if you're not if it's too much for you and you'll feel your face getting tight and maybe even burning a little bit if you start to have those sensations that is a clue to back up off of the soap and use it once or twice a week until your skin can get adjusted to it so if you have any questions about the soap feel free to scroll down to the bottom and send me a message and say hey Crystal I didn't get it I don't get it or I'm having this issue with the soap and then we'll see what we can come up with if you are looking to purchase the soap you can always find it on the on the website right over there in the beauty store and it will be under natural ingredients so our natural products 
So feel free to give me a shout anytime and I'll see if I can answer any questions. So you guys listen, don't forget to share these videos with your friends and your family if you find them informative. Make sure that you share them with your affiliate link. That way you get commission. Anytime someone joins the Beauty Is Guru affiliate team. Stay tuned for all the upcoming classes. If you're interested in any classes here in person with me, you guys can go to the events tab on the Beauty Is website and it will list all of the upcoming classes.